how do you know when a song is finished and ready to be released? Because I know that you've reworked a bunch mm -hmm. and I know you go back and forth. Is it just something with feedback or is it internal? What's, it's ready, it's ready to go. A lot of the time, uh, if I have an idea for a song or like I'll go into like making a song with like, I guess a goal in mind, I try to at least. So if it's like, use as little chords as possible, like with right. Maybe Doubt or with um, a Lucy single that I had called Dirty, where like I literally like used two to three notes slash chords to like structure an entire song. Or if it's like something like I wanna make a ballad, like Shadows, that took the longest time to make um, because I would hear, I would literally hear certain um aspects of a song like man it would sound cool if something else was in here i don't know what it's missing but it almost sounds like there's an l there's a space i can still fit something in and if there's still space i can fit something in it feels like the song is not quite finished so it's like you can have a super simple song like maybe doubt or a dirty even han solo is pretty simple with the way i like have it actually structured when you like put it like actually laid out it's just the matter of is there space left in this song for me to add something else without it taking away from the actual sonic integrity of the song gotcha so for me a lot of the time it's listening to it over and over and over again or sending it out to people i send it out to like multiple people people that don't really like like my vibe people that are new to the vibe people i've worked with for forever like Jamil and Tyrell probably heard the majority of this album while it's in its early stages and then once it started really getting tweaked they never heard anything from it ever again <laughs> until it finally got released right you know so it's like stuff like that where like I'll literally send it to like other people like sometimes I'll literally I sent the whole project to random people that I'm like yo I don't know if you'll like this all right Listen to it and tell me how like you feel. Those are some of my favorite messages that I get, like the unsolicited, like just looking for feedback, opposed to like I'm trying to get a million views. Look, check my shit out. Yeah. But, like, I'd like to not listen to the same shit all the time. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people aren't like that. They get in that one lane. Yep. Like I like, like you were saying earlier, I like down south hip hop and that's it or whatever. But mm -hmm. um, a crazy girl I met like 15 years ago, nothing good have ever came from this except one quote of. There's no such thing as bad music, just mm -hmm. music that's not for you, not right now. Yep. Which, when you break that down, you're like, that's exactly. Stuff I did in like 10 years ago, you go through some more life experiences, you're like, oh, I like that now. Or yep. you hear different things, or you learn. Even um, some artists I've had on, I, I haven't been a huge fan of their music until then you sit down and you talk with them for an hour and you kind of see the process and you see all that goes into mm -hmm. it and then you listen to it again and you're like, oh. I like that now because I like yeah. the story behind it opposed to just like the sonic value or the mm -hmm. lyrical value or something. Yeah, that's like, that's one thing I feel about <laughs> Lil Uzi Vert so much because <laughs> I love his personality and like how he like presents himself like 100%. Like I would love to hang out with that dude, but I feel like that's why I don't really vibe with the music like that because like I don't know him personally. Right. So like I can't really see like what he's necessarily going for with like his really unique style of like auto crooner like cloud rap kind of thing. Right.